No, no, I'm not offended at all. People ask me about my accent all the time. People say, it's not exactly Cornish, and it's not exactly Irish. It's pirate. And a lot of people think it's just union rules, you know, but no, it's not like that at all. See, truth is, I won this accent in a duel to the death on top of a massive seething caldera on the island of Skulls. And what do you mean you don't believe me? I, listen to me. No, I was telling you about the time I met these fellas called Priests of Chumbawamba. Looked a lot like you, fella. Yes. So, I built myself a giant nether hub right there in the nether to bring them back to me hideout in the jungle. And the next bit, the next bit's the interesting bit. So, stop complaining and listen up. Now, here's what happened. laboratory in the basement of his home. Hello! It's Mojo! You're watching Mojo. While I'm being Mojo, it's the Mojo Show. Hello, everybody. And I have some things to show you right off the bat. So, you might hear the sound of chickens. And you might notice that this chest has a mysterious quantity of eggs in it. And you might notice that a zombie is crashing my party by burning at me. Stop. Stop attention seeking by burning in front of people while they're trying to be mojo. So, here is the thing. I found this guy. Um, well, actually, I'm I, I'm not sure which one is the original chicken and which one is the new chicken. The original chicken uh, I found in the nether. And uh, one of the tiny zombie pigmen was was riding him. And uh, he clearly wasn't very bright because the pigman managed to suffocate in a wall. And so uh, I've brought the chicken back to uh, start up a little chicken farm. Because, uh, ah, there we are. You shall be called chicken number three. And uh, I've put them in this little hole in the ground to keep them safe from ocelots. So I, if I um, if I wanted to make an ocelot... Yeah, I, I see you over there. If I wanted to make an ocelot farm, I could just leave these guys here as a lure. Because every time I come back, I see one sniffing around. Okay, and uh, also, you might be wondering what this is. I've made myself a to-do list. Because... Uh, sticking your to-do list on a big stone and putting it in your garden is how we do it in British politics. Okay, so, what we have. These are all the nine things that I think I need the most. And those cows are so loud. Oh. I'm going to have to move you guys. Move you. Yes, you heard. Okay, these are the things I've got to do. I need bone meal and string. I need... A bigger place to store all of my items. I need some kind of experience farm which may involve blazers and that nether fortress. I need a shearing station and to bring my sheep over from the other land. I need some means of food production and um, I, I'm sorry chickens I think it might be you. And I, I really really want to find a mesa biome. Uh, Although, so far, this looks pretty much all jungle. Um, but I, I would love to find some stained clay to build with. Um, I want to get a trading quest. I want to bring some of those uh, priests of Chukvawamba through the nether. This is why I built the nether hub. And I'm going to bring them here before we go anywhere else with them. And I want to set up a trading post with them, because I'm sure they have some useful stuff to trade. Uh, what else? Uh, oh yes, I need to um, get this place properly defendable um, because I'm still worried about that Reckham and his flagship and I want to have a few tricks up my sleeve when he arrives. 
And one final thing, I need to get some means of getting some iron. Some sort of way of getting iron on an industrial scale. So those are my things. And I think today, we're going to get started on this. Because I have built the nether hub, and I feel I should use the nether hub. So, today is going to be trading post day. Now, let's see if we can think of a means to get those priests back here. And we'll be right back. I don't know if any of you guys have been cat owners, but um, if you have, you might know that when you bring chicken home from the supermarket, the cats just go crazy. Fresh chicken, they just go mad for it. And that's what's happening here. You can't have any of my chickens because they're in a secure storage facility. I know you can smell them. Mm. Get out! Out! Go! Right. Let's see how the chickens are doing now. I've uh, I bred some more of them, and uh, I turned some more of them from eggs into chickens. So, let's have a look. We have many more chickens, and uh, let's throw some more eggs in there. There we go, one more chicken. Two more chickens. Get in there. Okay, this is coming along nicely now. Alright, I wanted to bring you guys back for a quick update. Uh, I have been mining away like a mad thing. And uh, I have got lots of iron, which is smelting away down at the brew house. And um, my armor has taken a beating. I only have the chest plate left, and that's on its way out. So, I want some proper full diamond armor. And that's going to require XP, which is why I am breaking down all of this massive amount of coal ore. So this is what I'll be doing. Jumping up in the air a lot, and then breaking down this coal with my fortune pick to get lots of coal and XP. And then when I'm done with the coal, I'll move on to the redstone until I have 30 levels. And then I'm going to start enchanting some armor. And then we will be next level. Next level! That's the BS. Okay, I'm gonna do this a lot. Look at me in my full set of enchanted diamond armor! Oh yes, this sign looks so fancy now. Oh, look out creepers. I'm gonna get you. Right, after all that mining I have a bunch of rails to play with and I'm gonna make myself a couple of minecarts. Hang on a moment. There we go. Okay. And that should help me transport a couple of those priests back here. Let's see. I think I have some stone slabs. I'll need some of those as well in the nether hub. So I'm just going to build myself a quick temporary track. <laughs> My hero. I hear a ghast hanging around up there, trying to cause trouble. Okay, so, make some temporary rails. Where are we going? Over there. I 
making it a bit of a mess here, but I can always come back and clean this up later. Well, let's get the basics done. Okay, that should do the job. Now, let's go get ourselves some villagers. There we are, that's what we're on. Okay. So, you want to come with me, don't you? Yeah, that's what I thought. It's in my cart. No! Okay, this might be a little bit of a challenge. Seriously, what are you doing there? Okay, let's try that again. Uh-oh, this is bad. We have a zombie invasion. I'm going to have to rescue some of these guys. Oh, I think this has become an evacuation operation. Oh, this one's turned into a zombie. Mm. Right, I'll save you. <laughs> okay, let's try villager transportation, Mark 2. Well, that's one way to take it. Go! Go, Powered Furnace! Alrighty. Let's slab up some of this. No! You're a big disappointment, you know that. Right, let's try and get you safely back into the overworld. And why aren't you going? Have you gone? Oh, why are you standing there? Just get in the portal, okay? No! Try to land on something soft! You know what? I think you two are the only ones left. I'm sorry to break it to you. Uh, so, um, this is for your own safety, I promise you. Uh, I'm going to keep you safe from any zombies until I can build you somewhere a little bit more substantial that they won't be able to get into. There you go. See, yeah, you're fine. Okay, I've cleared out this space here, and what I think I'm going to build for these guys is I was reading my latest edition of Scientific Minecrafter, and that they had a nice, uh, what was it, 12 by 12 modern villager house. It's a nice, you know, modern, sustainable design with water features. And I think they, these guys are really going to like it. It's going to keep them safe from the zombies. And then uh, we'll be able to trade with them. And it will all be good. Okay, so I'm going to get this built. So while I was reading up about villager house design, I also uh, read that they really, really like doors. So... I'm going to put in as many as I possibly can on this level. I think I can probably fit in, um, let's see, 10, 10 along, so uh, 40 doors? Yeah, 40 doors will be enough. So when I said water feature earlier, what well, that got me thinking, and I thought, what these guys would really, really like is a swimming pool. So I've made this area a bit deeper, and then the whole inside of their uh, ground floor of their house is going to be a swimming pool. I think they're going to love it. You know what's really in back home? Glass floors. You know, because they'll be nice and modern. Zombies won't be able to spawn on them. Yeah. I think this is the right choice. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm putting in these extra zombie barriers. Uh, so these are going to keep the place even, even more safe. Even from those tiny, tiny little baby zombies. None of them are going to be allowed to get in and these guys are just going to be able to relax. Okay guys, it's time to get you into your new home. There we are, you don't have to live in a dirt hole in the ground anymore. 
We can get you. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. Get up the hill. There. And now you. I wanted to give you two names. Uh, I think I'm going to call you Villager Number Two. Or maybe Rocky. I think Rocky is a good name for you. Yep. Okay. Up you go. Up you go. Good. No. I want you to. No, no, no. Oh. Now, Rocky, I prefer the other guy. Hmm. Yes. Apollo Creed. Yeah, that's perfect. And. Up. Oh, and in you go. There we are. See, aren't you feeling much safer already? Let me just get you out of that car. Here are. You can wander around to your heart's content. And, um. Alright. I'm going to get a roof on this place for you. Oh. Assuming I can build this right. Look at this. Look. They're in love. Oh. There we are. Yes. Repopulate the species. <laughs> That's what we need you to do. Look. Look. <laughs> it's a tiny, tiny little blacksmith. Ah. <laughs> oh, that makes me happy. Okay. Well, I, I, I obviously need to... Um, grow some more food for these guys and keep building their house. I brought dinner! Here we go! One potato, two potato, three potato, four potato, five potato, six potato, seven potato, eight potato, nine potato, potato, potato. Oh no, I've, run out. I've lost count of potatoes. Just have a whole stack of potatoes. Alright, it's time to fill up the pools and I reckoned, why have one pool when you can have two? So I brought enough water here to have a pool on the roof. Here we go. There we are, look at that. And uh, some nice easy access to the downstairs pool here. So uh, that, that, that's almost a uh, water slide there. There we go. So if it's raining outside, you can come into the indoor pool. And uh, here we are, so I've just left this uh, little escape route here for me. No, die zombie. There we are, you're done. All right. What a lovely place this is. I, I think they'll be happy here. <laughs> oh, man. I wish you could have seen that. Oh, I just got snuck up on by a creeper while I was building this thing. And uh, the result was a chicken explosion. I, 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 still, ha I still have a whole bunch of eggs. <laughs> but uh, uh, I, all my chickens have escaped. Uh, I, I think you might become lunch. Sorry. <laughs> and here we have it. We have a, a nice safe place for all of these guys who we've repopulated this new village with. Look, we can get around and re talk to all of them. This is fantastic. And they, they have this nice, safe, zombie proof house. So, um,. I'm just going to go under here and uh, I'm going to start clearing out some of the... Oh, hello. That's an iron golem. Ah, it's an angry iron golem. No! It's you, it, it's you or me. Ah! Hmm. Ah, you know what I've done? I see what I've done here. So, I was, um, I, I was reading Scientific Minecraft the other day, and I, I must have accidentally, subconsciously, built the same design as an iron golem farm. So, well, I've, uh, we can make the best of that. I'm sure you don't mind. Yeah, there, I knew you wouldn't. Okay, so, um, all I have to do is um, make a small killing chamber down here, and, uh, well, this is going to be a, uh, a refuge, a trading post, and an iron farm. It's fantastic. Okay, so I've cleared out a little space where a lava blade is going to come out and kill these guys. So, what I'm also going to put in 
his killing area with some hoppers. Let's see now. Hmm. Is this the right height? We'll see. Okay, so what I'm going to need now is a couple of signs on each side. Nope. And something to stop the lava. So, a couple more blocks there. And it's lava time. There we go, one lava blade. I hope this is going to do the trick. We'll see if this fills up with iron. Oh, I hear the sound of I hear the sound of golems suffering. Did we catch one? Yes, <laughs> we have we have a villager trading center. And iron farm. Fantastic. Oh, I'm really happy with that. So there we have it. This is the trading post and combined iron farm. And I think that means that oh, I moved the to-do list over here. Uh, I can take another thing off the list. And there we are. We've done two things in one day. Killed two birds with one stone. That's fantastic. So what I think I'm going to do to round up is pop over here and do a bit more fourth wall-y mining action. Uh, so I'm sure you're thinking there's a, a few more things that could be done to clean up that area and yeah you're right uh, but what I'll probably do is you know I'll, I'll do that on my own while you're not watching uh, I just wanted to uh, pop down here surprise yeah so I put in a quick drop down to the mining area I uh, so hope that didn't give you too much of a heart attack um, here we are in the ranch mine and uh, let's do a bit more mining so, uh, I wanted to do a couple of things. I wanted to say uh, thank you to new subscribers. We are up to six subscribers. Six, there you go. That's that's more than halfway to double figures. And uh, our new subscribers are Sire and Enofon. So I hope I've pronounced your names right. Uh, let me know if I didn't. Um, also, uh, Enofon has a really interesting YouTube channel uh, where he has done some stuff I think on Biffa's Patreon server and I think the really interesting thing he's done is produced a basically a giant scale model I, I don't really know how to describe it. it it makes you look like you're a tiny person in a huge Minecraft world uh, it, it really is worth you going to check out so I think you should do that uh, other thing I wanted to do was just give a quick acknowledgement to the design on that iron farm that is uh, from another youtuber called Nims TV and uh, if I remember I'll stick a link to that down in the description so I think that's about it uh, was there anything else I was going to mention to you guys let me think now uh, I think I was just going to say it, it's nice nice now that we've um, I don't know where I'm going here it, it's, it's nice to be starting to get a few more subscribers on the channel. Um, what, what I think I want to do is get some more ideas from you guys. So what I want, uh, what I don't want to do is uh, spam the channel all over the place. Or at least you know you you guys can do that. I don't want to do that. Though. Um, what I want to do is for people to share and come to the channel because it's genuinely new and fresh and something they've not seen before. So. If there's something that you haven't seen before that uh, you would really like to see in Minecraft, then yeah, let me know. Uh, if you've got any great ideas of something I could build, something I could create, or some plot elements that I could introduce, yeah, let me let me know what you think. Because uh, I really want to get you guys 
sharing the show because it's something no one has seen before. And I think that's all I had to say about that. So, thank you so, so much, Diamond Armor. Ah, looks so much better in that. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like the video, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe before you go. And we will see you next time. Cheers!